Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve this equation. First of all, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So let's just start. We have this equation. We know that we can directly send this, multiply with this two. Okay. So let's just do it. We can still rewrite our equation as two to the power x plus two to the power minus x equal to 2 times 2 to the power x plus 1 okay this is our equation now so let's just rewrite this as 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power minus x minus 2 to the 2 times 2 to the power x minus 2 equal to zero okay this is our new equation so this equation can still be we have this term and this term here so this will just give minus two to the power x plus this term here which is two to the power minus x minus two equal to zero okay now if i change the sign of all this equation we just have 2 to the power x minus 2 to the power minus x plus 2 equal to 0 okay now let me rewrite this let me rewrite this 2 to the power minus x as 1 divided by 2 to the power x plus 2 equal to zero now if i multiply all my equation with 2 to the power x i will just have 2 to the power 2x minus 1 plus 2 times 2 to the power x equal to zero and if i rearrange my equation i will have 2 to the power x square plus 2 times 2 to the power x minus 1 equal to 0 okay we see directly that we have the quadratic equation with t equal to 2 to the power x so our equation can still be written as t square plus 2 t minus 1 equal to zero and if we were to solve this equation so we will just compute the discriminant delta which is b square 2 square which is 4 minus 4 times a which is 1 times minus 1 okay and we see that and we see that this is equal to this is equal to 8 which is 2 square root of 2 square okay in since this delta is greater than zero this means our equation has two solutions the first solution is d1 which is minus b minus b which is minus 2 so we have minus 2 minus 2 square root of 2 divided by 2a okay so this is again minus 1 minus the square root of 2 now the second solution is c2 c2 which is minus 2 plus 2 square root of 2 divided by 2 which is minus 1 plus the square root of 2 okay so we have our t with these two values this implies that we either have if we replace the value of t t was 2 to the power x which is equal to minus 1 minus the square root of 2 or the second value of t 2 to the power x is equal to minus 1 
plus the square root of 2 okay now we know that this here is a positive value and this here is a negative value so this first equation can never hold so we are just going to focus on this second equation here so this solution here this equation here has no solution in r since we are solving our equation in r so let's just focus on the second equation which is 2 to the power x equal to minus 1 plus the square root of 2 okay i know this is greater than 0 this is also greater than 0 so if i use my log function i will just have x ln of 2 equal to ln of minus 1 plus the square root of 2 okay so this implies that my solution x will just be ln of minus 1 plus the square root of 2 divided by ln of 2 okay which by simplification is again x equal to the log base 2 of minus 1 plus the square root of 2 so thank you for watching the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you